right, folks, let's clear. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. It's America This Morning. I'm Jay. This is my girl, Candy. And of course, everybody knows I'm an animal lover. Yes, we do know that, Jay. That's because you're an animal. Well, you're exactly right. But actually, I heard about this town in Florida where they're having a dog marathon. You're kidding. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. All right, so that's 26.2 miles of loud dog barking and dog fighting. And who exactly is going to clean up the poop after this is all said and done? Certainly not me. <laughs> but listen, it's for charity, though. It's a good oh, thing. Oh, really? It's and what thing. charity would that be? The Dumb Ideas Foundation. Folks, my girl Candy, I mean, she's a cat lover. She's a hater. Okay. Oh, I'm a hater, am yes, I? You are. All right, well, viewers, we'd love to hear what you think about this brilliant idea. So please email us, tweet us, and we will weigh in on this subject at the end of the show. Coming up next, we have a brilliant holistic doctor who says that he has proof that a rare mushroom can cure cancer. We'll be right back. And we're clear. Can someone please explain to me why this is freezing? Jay? Yes? After eight years of working together, why would you refer to me as a cat person when you know I can't stand animals of any kind? It was for the segment, okay? You gonna be okay? Well, I just think it's a big deal to falsely represent someone. Here we go. You know what, in the future, would you please just refrain from referring to me as a dog person or a cat person or even a goldfish person because that's not who I am. All right, whatever, all right. Are you gonna get over it though? Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, whatever. Where's my coffee? Can somebody get her some coffee, please? Thank you. It's right there. Oh, boy. All right, folks, here we go. Why We're back in five, four, three, it doesn't make two. Sense. Welcome back to America This Morning. Our next guest. All right, so we've confirmed for Thursday, Candy. Now, Friday is the governor's ball. We have not RSVP'd for that, so are we a go? Or okay, no? wait a minute. It's this Friday. Yes. We need to cancel. I have other plans. You want to cancel the governor's ball? Yes, we need to cancel. Tell him I came down with something. Even though you were just on the air looking perfectly healthy. Tell them it happened after the show. Got it. Also, one more thing. Yes. Yesterday, I saw some crumbs on my desk. I don't know if they were muffin crumbs or something like that, but are you trying to ruin my career? Candy, I didn't mean to bring pastries around. We have talked around. about this I'm... several times. I'm on a very strict diet for the next 90 days, which means that I can't be around any sweets of any kind because even the smell of sweets is total mayhem for me. And I don't want to be in chat rooms and on social media where people are talking about how I've just become this big fat cow and they put a picture of me in the tabloids next to Shamu. Candy, it won't happen again. That's a relief. Bounce. Bye. Thank you. Muffin crumbs? Really? Don't you think you're overreacting just a bit, Candy? Louis, as a manager, you of all people know how vicious sometimes fans can be. But that's your eighth assistant this year. Well, what is your point about that? Oh, guess I have no These point. This just came in from that F-A-N guy again. That's the third time this month. Anyone can sing in the sun, but not many people know how to dance in the rain. That's corny. Oh, that's very sweet. This guy always says the coolest things. Well, he just might be a stalker. Oh, relax. I'm sure it's harmless. I'm going to put this with my collection. Oh, Candy, the reporter from Woman Now magazine is on set ready for her interview. Louis, really? How many of these things do I have to do in a week? Well, the book's not going to sell itself, Candy. Just give him 15 minutes at least. Roger that. Gina, get out. Ugh, I need to get my head straight before this interview. You need to get a lot more than that straight, Candy. You've won numerous awards and honors for hosting one of America's favorite talk shows. You have endorsement deals, thousands of fans, and now a new book. Is there anything that Candy Myers can't do? Um. You know, it's funny, I, I don't think of myself as very special. I just am blessed enough to have the Lord give me these beautiful assignments and I'm crazy enough to say yes. But one might wager, Candy, with your busy life and being a woman of a certain age, that maybe you've chosen to sacrifice certain things like marriage and a family. You know, I think it's interesting, Nadia, that you would equate a marriage and family as happiness. And I'm sure that there are millions of women around the world who would beg to differ. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to argue this point because I have to reshoot this promo. But no, I didn't mean to offend you. Oh no, I know. 
Thank you so much for your time. Really, take care. Good seeing you. Thank you. You want to tell me what's wrong? You haven't said a word since the interview earlier. Did I ever tell you I'm adopted? No. No, I, I would have remembered something like that. I was eight years old when my parents, the Myers, told me. Do you know what it's like to be eight years old and find out that your family doesn't really belong to you? I can't imagine that, no. Well, I suddenly felt like, I don't know, a hamster that you bring home from the pet store. You know, you're part of the family, but you're not really part of the family. They love you, Candy. I mean, you and I both know that. Yes, I know that, Louis, but that doesn't change how I feel. You know, and when that reporter today stated so graciously that I didn't have a family of my own, I just started thinking, you know, if I do end up having children of my own, what am I going to tell them? I don't know anything. I don't know about their grandparents. I don't know about their ancestry, their history, my medical background. I know nothing. Their grandparents are your folks, Evelyn and Errol Myers. Yeah, Louis, and when my imaginary kids turn eight years old, I'll just tell them that that was a lie, too. <sighs> Never mind. Three red onions as requested. Oh, great, perfect. You need me to chop them up? No, but can you shred that gouda for me, please? Why not? You want me to milk the cow, too, while I'm at it? Let me wash my hands. I figured you'd be done with this already. Yeah, well, my family shows up for the first time ever on time, and I'm nowhere near done. <laughs> I see. Wow, what a treat. Louis, it's so good to see you. Oh, How are you? Excellent, and yourself? Blessed as ever. Came to see if my eldest needed any help. <laughs> no, thank you, Mom. I've got it. Mm-hmm. I see. I guess you do with Louis here. Isn't this your day off? Don't you need a break from my daughters running you around everywhere? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Correction. He's the one who's always running me around. Book tours and interviews and assignments. I'm just dropping by to make sure everything's OK. Hmm. Checking in, huh? Off the clock. Mom. For no money. Mom. Are you sweet on my candy, Louis? Mom! Stop! You're always reading into stuff. Louis and I have a perfectly wonderful working relationship. He is my business manager. That is it. Well, something's going on. I mean, Robbie never checked in on his day off. That's because Robbie was an idiot, which is why I fired him. Don't say that. He's family. Yeah. Not my family. Come again? Nothing. Well, Louis, since you're here, why don't you stay for lunch and join us? Sure. No, 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 Mom. I have something really important I need to discuss. It's a family issue. Yeah, it's OK, Mrs. Myers. I got a few errands to run anyway. You need anything else? No, this was awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Good to see you. You have a good day. Take care. Okay. What? I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, please. Mom, he gets paid enough to get over it. Candace and Myers, you're so bourgeois. I wonder where I got it from. Oh, my God! Amen. Praise Man. Jesus. Oh, you know, Daddy. Thanks, Candy. Yeah. More sweets, please. OK, coming right up. Uh-uh. That's enough for her. All right, well, does anybody want anything while I'm up? You want some hot sauce, or I have peppers in the fridge, or John, you want anything? No, oh, fantastic. Why are you waitressing, Candy? Yeah, stop worrying about us and just eat. I just want to make sure everybody's OK. We're OK. Sit. And uh, where's all this nervous energy coming from, huh? Wait, are you seeing someone? What's his name? I'm not seeing anyone, Charmaine. Oh, well, when are you going to start? I don't know. Do not snap at your sister. She's just concerned about you, as are we all. I am fine. And when I start seeing the right someone, you all will be the first 
five people to know. I think Lewis is perfect for you, honey. I wish you would no, listen to me. I said I can't the same see thing. He has love and adore Can we, can we so please, cute. can we please it's stop talking about my love life? And I have, has a job. I have something, I have something that I want to talk to you guys about anyway. What's on your mind, baby girl? I, I think it's time that I find them. Who's she looking for? Mom. I didn't mean to make you upset. I'm not upset, Candace. Clearly. You have everything going for you. A great life, a fabulous career, money, fame. Why now? I don't know. I just feel like it's time. At 35 years old. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize there was a statute of limitations for me to find my real We are your real family from day one. Yeah, and then a miracle happened. We never treated you differently when Shemaine was born, and you know that. I do know that, Mom, but I am different. And I just, you know, I want to know who I belong to. You belong to me. To us. Mom, I'm sorry. Please don't cry. So we don't have the same bloodline. Who cares? You're still my big sister. I will always be, Shar. Thank you. And it's obvious to me, whoever your real parents are, they don't care about you. Charmaine. Mom, I'm sorry. They had enough time to find her. I mean, duh, all they had to do was turn on the TV. And there she was in plain sight. It's obvious they chose to stay away. You don't get it. They can never love you the way we do. Candace. Coming, Daddy. Clearly, you gave this a lot of thought before you told us. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, you're a grown woman. Who am I to stop you? Daddy, none of this changes how I feel about you and Mom. Uh, I sure hope so. Because I couldn't bear to lose you. You won't. We'll do anything we can for you, Candy Yam. Thank you, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> you too. Candy, did you get my text that the signing was scheduled to start 30 minutes ago? I did. I ignored it. OK, uh, not a problem. Well, there's a huge crowd out there, um, which is good, even if you're late. Do you need anything before you start? Yes, privacy. Immediately. Thank you. Got it. Any calls? No calls from the agency. <sighs> I don't understand, Lewis. I mean, OK, there's no father listed on my birth certificate, but they found my mother three weeks ago. So why hasn't she contacted me? Maybe she's scared, Candy. It's been over 30 years. Well, I'm not waiting another 30 years. I hired a private investigator. Hopefully, he'll speed up the results. And I'm just now hearing about this? I'm sorry. I didn't realize I needed to clear it with you, Lewis. Whereas well, your manager, no. But as your friend, I'd like to be kept in the loop. Hey, Candy, they're really, really asking very nicely that we start the book signing right now. Fine. On with the show, right? Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Evening, Miss Myers. Good evening. Are you um fan? Uh, no, no, my, my brother Freddie is well, he had a heart attack and passed away a couple of days ago. 
Oh, no, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. His, um, his cards and his flowers, they always made my day. Yeah, well, he would have, uh, he would have liked that. Please, um, give your family my condolences. Well, you see, um, that's just the thing. Uh, you are my family. Um, just ask the detective you sent. What? Who are you? I'm Abner Thomas Nelson. My brother was Frederick Andrew Nelson. And, uh, he was your father, Candy. No, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that can't be. And I'm sorry it had to come to you like this. Uh, Freddie was so looking forward to meeting you. Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> Freddie's uh, funeral's uh, in a couple of days out in Manning. My number's there. He he would surely love it if uh, if she could attend. So you're not even going to consider it. He's your biological father, Candy. This is your last chance to see him above ground. All right, you'll regret it if you don't. I can't go. Not by myself. Who says you have to? But as a friend, do you? This is it. You ready? Yes. Brother Freddie was a good man. Yes, he was. He. Oh, my. <gasps> Brother Freddie was a very hard-working man who served the Lord with joy in his heart. He loved his family and didn't have an enemy in the world, would help anyone in need at any time. And he continued to... Somebody come get her. Excuse, excuse Put that back. Let her have it. Hell no, not this time. Just, just give it to her. Let my brother have some peace for once. What? Just might get it. You don't want to mess with me. Crazy ding, but what kind of germ is All right, this? all right, everybody, everybody, settle down. Look, this is a homegoing service, not TMZ. Amen? Who's that crazy woman? Your mother. Now.
hey. <laughs> Come on in. Ah, really good to, to see you, Miss Myers. Oh, Abner, please call me Candy. I think we can dispense with the formalities, don't you? Well, Candy, let me introduce you to some of your kinfolks. This is uh, Cousin Jesse, Cousin Sam, uh, Cousin Jamie, and uh, Alyssa. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and, and come on in here. I want you to meet a couple of the fine boys. This is uh, Trevor and Andrew Candy. These, uh, these are your brothers. I have brothers? Oh, it's, it's very nice to meet you. Hi, Trevor. You better give me a hug, girl. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Thank you. <clears throat> Don't I get an introduction? Um, this is uh, Trevor and Andrew's mother, Dolores. Ah, uh, it's a pleasure meeting you, Mrs. Nelson. Well, don't forget, I was married to Freddie. And I was faithful for every bit of 37 years. How old are you? Careful, Dolores. I'm 35, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, hi, Mrs. Nelson. I'm Lewis, Candy's manager. So sorry for your loss. Listen, uh, we came a long way to be here today. And I hear Southern women know how to cook. Quite frankly, we're starved. Any chance we get a bite to eat? Susan May, go to the kitchen and get a hot plate for these people. Hold up. But bring me a cold glass of ice water. I'm going to need it. Thank you. It's a beautiful house. Mm-hmm. And that's Daddy after he got his high school diploma eight years ago. Mm -hmm. He did regret having to drop out, but he did have a family to look after. But that didn't stop him from starting his own plumbing business. That's his store right there. And his ice cream parlor. <laughs> and he had a delivery service. That's the one I'm in charge of right there. Oh. And she don't care nothing about that. <laughs> well, I was just trying to show her that Daddy was a go-getter. And I'm telling you, she don't care nothing about that. <laughs> look, he wasn't no slouch. Well, your mama made a complete fool out of herself today. That's enough, Dolores. This child ain't come here to be insulted by you. Well, she ain't no kin to me, Abner. Well, she's kin to me. And I ain't gonna let you treat her like some mangy dog done wandered in off the street. Mm, more like a mud, if you ask me. Dolores, oh, please. Now, this here is our family's house, and ain't nobody asked me how I felt about her being here. OK, maybe I should go blowing in here like she's some big movie star. Honey, we don't need your favors, OK? That wasn't my intention. Mm-hmm. You're probably on the stuff, too. Dolores, stop it. Mm-hmm. Most big time stars are. That's not true. Well, that wouldn't surprise me none, because the apple don't fall far from the tree. What is she talking about? Nothing. She ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> nothing? You call one year in the looting man nothing. And judging by that performance she put on today, she needs to go back in there. Mama. Okay, gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna leave now. Lewis, thank you for your hospitality. I can't say it was a pleasure. Candy. Come on, baby. Come on here tonight. I don't like ugly Dolores. Mm -hmm. Y'all done forgot I buried my husband today. Uh, Candy, you should friend me so I can send you all the family pictures. Oh, oh, you thought it was because I wanted to brag to everybody about you being my sister and all, but that wasn't even thinking that until just now, and I'm sorry. It's okay, <sighs> Trevor, really. Don't worry about my mama. You're always welcome to Manning. Thank you, Andrew. Look after our sister, Lewis. We'll do, man. Thanks for having me. I'll uh, drive you all to the hotel. OK. Thank you, everyone. Nice meeting you all. Abner. How long have you all known about me? Uh, a few years now. No one came to see me? Yeah, Freddy's wishes. He said it wasn't his call to make. Well, didn't he want to see me? <laughs> he saw you all the time, watched the show every morning. And if you were somewhere close, he'd go out to see you. Of course, you know about the notes and flowers and things. Yeah, which I won't get anymore. He loved you, Candy. He just wasn't 
Wasn't sure you wanted to hear it. Why would he think that? Because of what happened with him and your mama years ago. Right. He was married to Dolores when they had their affair. No, no, no. It's deeper than that. Much deeper. Okay, so tell me. My flight doesn't leave till tomorrow morning. Well, maybe you ought to talk to your mother. Her name is Mary Jordan. We all call her Mary Jo. Might as well, Candy. We're here. Okay. Where does she live? About an hour outside of town. Far away from everything and everyone. Be careful, Abner. New mama boy, he just get you. Shoot. Mary Jo, I've had it. Abner, it's OK. Let's go. Oh, no, I drove an hour to get out here. You're going to open up the door. You're just a stubborn old mule. Abner, really, if she doesn't want to see me, I don't want to force her to. All right, all right. We'll head on back. And I ain't scared of your dog, neither. This is precisely why I'm not a dog person. Freddie wanted you to have this. Thank you, Alfred, for everything. Well, I better be getting back. Lewis, find me. Likewise, sir. Take care of yourself. Now, uh, don't you be a stranger. We're family now. Sounds like a real pill. Yeah, and then she, 
accuse me of being on drugs. What? Me, yeah. That's why you should have come to us before going out there on your own. I had Lewis with me. That's not the same thing. I'm your mother. And I would have straightened all this out. Really? How, Mom? Well, first of all, I would have popped that Dolores woman in the mouth for talking to you like that. And then that other woman, the birth mother, Mary Jane. Mary Jo. Whatever. She couldn't even open the door. Well, I'm glad you've gotten this out of your system, and I hope that you realize that you really do have the best life. You have the life that God intended for you to have. So we're done with this, right? Candace? Mom, I have questions. And Mary Jo is the only one who can answer them. Now, what if you don't like what she says? What then? Honey, you have all the answers. Use wisdom and let it go. Smells good. Don't taste good, too. So I can cover Cleveland and Cincinnati on Tuesday, fly back for work on Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, I'm gonna head to Chicago, do an in-store, visit the sister station, come back home. Thursday, I'll stay local after the show, do a couple press junkets with radio. And then Friday afternoon, I'm gonna head to DC for the breast cancer auction, and I'll be there Saturday to leave for New York. What, what's the problem? Why are you looking at me like that? You hate doing interviews. Now you're trying to do 105 days? Well, Lewis, you said that the book isn't going to sell itself, so... I just don't yep. think it's a good idea that you jam-pack your schedule so tight, Candy. Well, fortunately, I don't make decisions based on what you think, Gina. Um, I like this. Let's, uh, this is too bright. Hold on a second, let me see something. This is a size 6, I'm a size 4. Okay, you know, you kind of expand a little over the past week. Okay, that's not true. Candy. You know what? It, it's all right. I mean, it's not like a size six. It's fatal. I mean, there are lots of women out there that wear size six. You know what? Well, that's great for them. But I am a size four. And if you don't know the difference between a four and a six, then perhaps you shouldn't be a stylist. Okay, I'll grab your four. All right, everyone. I need a moment with Candy. Please. Why did you do that? Because apparently you've lost your mind. You and I both know, in this business, a size six is a fatality, okay? I might as well just be on The Biggest Loser. But you're overreacting, Candy. Really? Because I'm saying what it is I want and how I want it? Oh, I see. You're angry about your birth mother. Things didn't go well with her, so you're trying to take it out on everyone else? That's not true. Listen, Candy. I know you're disappointed, but you can't control how people feel. Thank you, Dr. Phil. I spoke to Abner again. He said you haven't been returning any of his calls. You know what, Lewis? If you want to remain my manager, then it's probably a good idea for you not to bring up those people or that place to me again. So you're threatening to fire me, too? Where are you going? Where are you going? To get some air. That's OK, boss. Two minutes.
Well, I don't like animals. You oh. know that. <laughs> While you guys were gone, of course, our last segment where we had the spider monkey from uh, Argentina. You're right. And cute little animals. She's cute. tripping. Yeah. Cute. Hold on. How many cautionary tales do we need about people having their face ripped off by wild animals? The, it's a wild animal. The it doesn't spider belong. monkey's as big as my hand. And so our last guest showed us how to make some of our favorite dishes with alternatives in a more healthy way. Now, okay, Jay. I'm sorry. Your last guest was your next door neighbor. <laughs> no, we, no, really, seriously, we have to start putting real chefs on instead of people that your friends. <laughs> Our next guest has created a new fitness craze that's taking the nation by storm. It combines soccer and samba. What do you think about this, Jay? Um, I actually don't know what samba is. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I can, um, I can just catch the red eye uh, again on the way back. That's fine, no big deal. Okay, well, I'll see you Thursday. Looking forward to it. You take care. Bye-bye. Candy, I can get you an energy drink to make it through the day if you want. Um, yeah, that would be great, Gina. Thank you. Oh, has, uh, has Lewis called? He should be here by now. No, but I can get him on the phone for you. Okay. Hey, Candy. Five-minute warning. Thank you. Candy? Candy. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. You're gonna have to eat some real food today, you know? No, I don't. No, I don't. I made a huge mistake today. Which was? I watched the news. Apparently the whole world knows that I fainted. You can only imagine what the Twitter thugs are saying. Only that you OD'd on some diet pills. Let me put that. And I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Sorry. Well, did they plug the book at least? No. Oh, come on, Katie. It's gonna be okay. Oh no, Shar, I just. I've never felt so lost. And it has nothing to do with you and mom and dad. It's just, I feel like I'm losing it, you know? Like, I, I just feel so out of place. Will you pray for me? Heavenly Father, we ask for your help to guide Candace today. For you to give her the insight and direction on what she should do. We know that your desire for her is for her to prosper and be in health. Touch her body, her mind, her soul. Restore to her your peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for it now. And in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Is that soup all made? Yeah. Yeah, our cousin Campbell you made it. You are such a bad liar. You're supposed to make homemade soup. I'm sick. I forgot the chicken. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? I feel good. Brownie from my favorite place. How did you know? Because I know you, Candy, better than you think. I need to know what you want to do about the rest of the book tour. Oh, you know, I'm so rude. I didn't even offer you anything to drink. You want some lemonade or iced tea? No, or Candy. What do you want to do? You just miss Charmaine. She's checked on me like umpteen times since this whole thing happened, so. Candy, what do you want to do?
I don't want to go, Lewis. What happens if we cancel everything? Simple. You lose a ton of money on book sales, piss off a few dozen vendors, and disappoint a whole lot of fans who want to see you. Why are you acting like this? Isn't this how you want me to be? All business? No. And let's stop playing games. I care about you. I care about your health, your well-being. But you got unfinished business in Manning. And unless you get to the bottom of it, you're gonna fall apart, along with everything you built in your career. Lewis, I'm scared. I know, but God is with you on this. And so am I. Okay. Okay. Maybe you should call your mom and sister to go with you. Well, I um, prefer to travel with friends. Louis, I can't do this without you. Don't make me beg. Thank you. Mm. Oh my gosh. Dinner was delicious. Mm -hmm. And who made that amazing pecan pie? Right here. Y'all heard that? She loves my pie. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, think you're ready to see Miss Mary Jo tomorrow? I don't know, Andrew, but I hope so. We're gonna give it a week and see what happens. And right, what about that dog? Well, I have a steak and a BB gun. I'm gonna try the steak first. <laughs> okay, okay. We thought we'd never see you again, Candy. And then we heard you fainted on the news. Yeah, ev everything's fine. You know, it's just a lot happened in a month. I found out I have two brothers, a sister-in-law, new nieces and nephews. And one amazing uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want me to drive you out there? No, you don't have to do that, Abner. We, um, we rented a car this time. I, I remember the wait, so. All right, well, let me know if you need anything. Uh, yes, sir. Will do. Don't worry, Abner. I'm not afraid of Mary Jo. <laughs> you might have to use that BB gun on her, too. Oh. <laughs> Goodness. Remember me? He old granite. Come on, boy. Come on. Let's go. Boy, good boy. Ma Mary Jo, please talk to me. expecting her to come easy, remember? Did you see how she looked at me? Like I'm an intruder? Well, she won't feel that way too much longer. Because we're not giving up. Well, let's get something to eat. Just a teaspoon, and I mean a teaspoon. of white wine. You're kidding. Oh, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I know. It's my secret weapon. Now, if you tell anybody about it, I will hunt you and beat you senseless. 
Do you understand? I do. Okay. Any questions? No. Joe? You in there? Go away and stay off my property. We need to talk. I ain't interested. Just go back to your fancy hotel. How do you know I'm staying at a fancy hotel? You got money, don't you? Don't take a genius to figure that out. Mary Jo, I just want to talk to you, and I'm not leaving until we do. Then you better get a campfire going out there, because I ain't opening the door. You know what? Abner is right. You're just a stubborn mule. What are you afraid of? I know you heard me. I'm scared too, Mary Jo, but I'm here. All right. This is the, the best pecan pie I've ever had in the whole wide world. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and collect my dish. Maybe some good food will help you reconsider. I made some progress today. At least she spoke. Well, you'll, you'll wear it down eventually. Ugh. She's just so bullheaded and stubborn. Yeah, tell me about it. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, Candy, let's just say I can see the family resemblance. I am not stubborn, Lewis. I am meticulous. Oh. I'm tenacious. <laughs> well, the rest of the world calls that stubborn. And you're too bossy. All right, why don't you just throw in overbearing while you're at and it? And extremely sarcastic. Well, I didn't realize I was making everyone so miserable. <laughs> the pout. <laughs> My personal favorite. You know, can you please stop? I do have feelings. All right, all right, I'll stop. If I'm so awful, then why don't you just leave, quit? Well, because I like you. I like your heart. I mean, when it's in the right place. Yeah, well, I bet you didn't count on all this family drama. I mean, what family doesn't have drama? Really? Okay, well, I'm all ears. My parents divorced when I was 12. My oldest sister died of breast cancer. My youngest sister's in the military. Oldest brother's incarcerated. My middle brother's happily married in Florida, and then there's me. No wife, no kids, no rap sheet. <laughs> I didn't know any of that. Lewis, when did your older sister die? Last year. Why didn't you tell me? I mean, you didn't have to grieve alone. And you were busy with your book, so I didn't want to distract you. What was her name? Yvette. Yvette.
gone. And we'll wait. Hey. At least she ate the pie. Oh. I think. <laughs> well, somebody ate it. So peaceful out here. Yeah. It's like a place that time forgot, you know? Not a strip mall or Starbucks in sight. <laughs> no cameras or microphones. Mm. I know it's like there's no expectations or demands. I can just be free. Sorry, just slipped out. Don't be. Since we're just sitting here, let's go look around. No. Come on. Yeah. Really? This girl's gonna get me killed. Come on. Wait, wait. <gasps> oh! Isn't this amazing? A swing? Yeah. I guess. Uh, Lewis. Feel free to push me at any time. Yes, boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's good? Yeah. A little higher, please. All right. All right. You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. You needed some of that. What? It's true. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I guess. I don't really let myself have this kind of fun, you know, not since I was a kid. Miss those days, you know? It's like my father used to take us camping when we were little. We really had some good times together. Where's your dad now? He's, he's with Yvette. Sorry. That's okay, Candy, people die. People we love very much. That's, that's why this is such a blessing. You know, you get a second chance with Mary Jo. And as long as she's alive, there's hope. We've been out here a while. You think she might be back? No, let's go see. OK. Uh, if I can get out. Um, I'll race you. Nah, I don't, want, I don't want you to choke to death, you know? Choke on what? My dust. Hold on, oh, let me tie my God, shoe. Please. I'm gonna I'm commence gonna the bus. Ready, your... go. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. Ah! Candy. You okay? Is that? <laughs> oh, it stinks. Hey, let me help you. Get off me, okay? I don't need your help. Okay, Mary Jo. I'm not that woman. You sure about that? Wait, 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 Sorry, I'm. I'm sorry I hit you. It's okay. I'm a big boy. I can take it. I think she's back. <sighs> Lewis, let's just go back. Okay, I don't want to stand out here all day begging her to open the door. And plus, I stink really badly. Yeah, you do. 
That just might work to your advantage. Hold on one second. Where are you going? Shh, Come on, I just I want to get in the car. <laughs> oh, quit whining. What y'all doing? This is private property. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Candy fell in some poop and, well, she stinks really bad. Hmm. This is good. What is it? Rabbit stew. Mm. I like it. What's wrong? I don't eat bunnies. Where well, you do now. Here, I'll take it. What? I'm hungry. Thanks for dinner, Mary Jo. Welcome. Hey, listen, I need to make a few calls. I think I'm gonna wait in the car. I, I like your cookie jars. Um, I saw the greenhouse in the back, so what kind of vegetables do you grow? Okay, I'll just help you clean up. Would you please you just let cooked? me take let it, me please? Take... I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean for it to break, okay? Ow, shoot! Okay. Now look what you didn't made me do. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, let's, it has to go in the water. Put it in the water. to come back after the funeral I mean after everything I came back for me this is for me I'm gonna have to get some peroxide and put it on there it's pretty deep mm. I put the pressure like that there you go okay I know it hurts Go. Can you drop me off here tomorrow alone? Sure. Great. Hello. Oh. Hey, Granite. You remember me? Mary Jo. Mary Jo! Seriously, you're gonna pull this stunt again? Mary Jo! I haven't finished dressing yet! Come help me with these crates out back. Good morning to you too. You can start with them. Wow. This is amazing. You do all this yourself? Uh-huh. 24 years. Well, let's get loading. I don't want to be late on my runs. So, what is all this? I sell fruits and vegetables wholesale to the smaller grocers, the little ones. Jams, preserves, pickle peppers, too. Oh, so you're an entrepreneur. Well, if that mean I own my own business, yes, ma'am. Well, let's get moving. Come on, now time is money. <laughs> Lift from your knees, not your back. You 
want me to call AAA or something? Triple who? Nah, be fine. Just the coolant leaking again. You know, I can drive if that cut on your hand is hurting. Oh, Lord, I've been through more than this little scratch. I'll be fine. Well, you cut yourself pretty deep. You might want to have a doctor look at it. Nope. Had my fill of doctors. Never seen a woman check her all before. Watch and learn. Now, see, this right here, that's for your steering fluid. Check it on, you know, every six months or so. But you err, uh, you check that every three weeks and you keep it full. Why'd you give me away? You just gonna ask me out of nowhere like that? Yeah. Mary Jo, I need to know. It wasn't meant for me to keep. Wasn't meant for you to keep? I was your child, your flesh and blood. OK, so explain to me, what were the mitigating circumstances that warranted you surrendering custody of me? Oh, that's your fancy way of asking me if I gave you up for no good reason. Yeah, did you? I don't want to talk about it. Well, you know what? That's just too bad, because we're stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, stuck in a truck together. So you're just going to have to get over it. Your manners is terrible. Set the pot to the kettle. That's what's wrong with your generation. Disrespectful. In my day, children was to be seen and not heard. Well, you might want to take a good look, Mary Jo, because I'm not a child anymore. You? You don't know what I mean. You just a spoiled little rich gal. Really? And you are a nasty old broad. You don't talk to me like that, because I'm your mother. You're my what? My mother? You're nothing but a stranger who happens to share my DNA. Well, I don't ride with no strangers. Oh, okay. So what, you're just gonna leave me out here in the middle of nowhere? You know what, Mary Jo? This getting rid of me business is getting kind of cold. Bye! <laughs> Faced your fears and you came out here. I'm proud of you. Hey, Abner. What? No, she doesn't know. Mary Jo had a stroke. Where's the hospital? Okay, we're on the way. I like what you've done with the place. It's the entrepreneur suite. Mary Jo. So how'd you find me this time? Abner. He knows people who work at the hospital, so. Mm, that figures one busy body of a man just as nosy. Yeah, well, we should probably be thankful for him because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here. 
But where'd you come? You don't like me. True. But that doesn't change who you are. Family. So now we can again? Yeah, but don't push it. Yeah, we family, all right. You asked me a question, and I think you deserve an answer. You was born in this hospital when they brought you to me. papers to sign. I thought it was so the state could help me take care of you. Welfare aid. But it was the papers that released custody of me. I couldn't read the words right. Freddie couldn't help. Excuse me, Miss Myers, but visiting hours are over. Miss Jordan here really needs to get her rest. Well, we just need five more minutes. I'm sorry, doctor's orders. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay in town a few more days. I'll see you when you get out. Can I see your arm, Miss Jordan? Miss Jordan? What's up? That's all you have to say to me after two weeks? Where are you, Candace? I'm still in Manning. Why? I mean, you all talked it out, didn't you? Why are you still there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Your life is here in Atlanta with your family. Mary Jo's family, too, and she needs me. Yes. I love you, and nothing is going to change that. I just, I need to stay here a little bit longer, and then I'll come home, OK? OK. All right, well, tell Daddy I love him, too. And I'll talk to you both soon. Bye. What is that? A lot beneath. Black? It's Indian food. I don't eat no Indian food. Mm. Well, you do now. <laughs> oh. Your daddy didn't like no funny food, neither. He was strong meat and potatoes, man. You know, Mary Jo, why does everybody keep talking about Freddy? like he's some sort of hero. He was a married man who cheated on his no. wife, who seduced a young, uneducated girl, and then he left her when she no, was pregnant. No, no, it wasn't nothing like that. All that stuff happened later on. I met Freddie when I was 14 years old, and he was 16. When I laid eyes on him, I loved him. And somehow I always knew that that man was going to be my husband, and he knew too. Candace, it was Freddie who wanted to wait until we was old enough to get married. But when the waiting got hard, I started pushing him away. Well, that Dolores Jameson, that little fast heifer, she always had to hops for my Freddie. 
So she invited him to a party, and since I had been fighting him so hard, he went along. And she got him pissy drunk and seduced him. And four months later, they had a shotgun wedding because they found out she was pregnant. And her daddy, Deacon Jameson, wasn't having no bastards in his family. OK, so then what? So now he's married, and he starts double-dipping, oh, coming no. to see you, Don't and then you, going He was not her. that kind of man. No! We stayed away from each other. He came to the house because he found out that Big Mama was dying. And he knew I didn't have nobody. And so that's when, oh. Oh, it was the most beautiful night of my life. I finally had my Freddie. And then, when we found out we was having you, we were so happy. And we was going to run away together. We had a plan and everything. So what happened? I mean, why didn't you guys just leave? He was going to do it. He drove up to the house with all his stuff. And I hopped in, ready to go. And he just couldn't do it. We sat in that car for three hours crying. That man broke my heart that day. Now, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Your daddy was an honorable man. Being the God-fearing man that he was, he was ashamed that he cheated on Dolores, and he decided that he wanted to be right by her and stay. We knew we could never be together, but we never stopped loving each other. See? He gave me this. And he put the same thing on the back of his watch. What does it mean? With every beat of my heart, you were born out of love. So much love. See, if you grab it just right, you get that string right off. Oh, okay. Can I just snap them? Try. Okay, I'll try. Hey, Mary Jo. Mm hmm? Did you always have trouble reading? Like, where the letters get confused sometimes? No. They get confused all the time. You know, I think you have dyslexia. Now, what is that? Make it plain now. You know, I don't speak no Greek. No, oh, it's just, OK, some people, when they read, they get confused. No matter how many words they know, the letters seem like they're in the wrong place. Exactly so. That's exactly so. Mary Jo, you're not dumb. You're just undiagnosed. Well, how you know so much about it? Because I have it, too. And I found out it's hereditary. Oh. All right, it's my turn. Where are your friend? Who? Louis? Mm-hmm. He went home last week. Did you see him off? Now, why would I do that? He flies all the time. Mm. You love him? What kind of question is that? The kind of question you ain't answered yet. Do you love him? No. Maybe. I don't know. No. No, I don't. Listen. True love comes only once in a lifetime, and I don't want to see you lose your season.
Candy, it's, uh, it's me again. Just, just checking on you. Yeah, um, give me a call when you get a chance. Hope everything's all right. All right, um, bye. I told you, bent from your knees, not your back. Oh my gosh, can you please stop nagging me, Mary Jo? You sound like my mother. Nah, I know for sure it's time for you to go. So what? You're sick of me already? No. But it is time for you to start living your own life. And it sure ain't here selling peach jam with me. <laughs> I like it here with you. And I like that you like it. You gotta stop hiding, Candace. I'm not hiding. I'm, I'm resting. Yes, you hiding, just like I did with Big Mama. It's just when I'm home, you know, it's like everybody wants something from me, you know? The morning show and my publisher and my business partners and I just, I just want to be happy, okay? I just want to be left alone. Look at me. You see what happens when you're left alone? You just become a cuckoo old woman. Only friend in the world is a dog. At least he's a cute dog. Go home. It's time. But it's me again. Can you please call me when you get this? Bye. Say hello. Not when you're five hours late. Where were you? Out. Out. Out doing what? Out doing busy. Why? So you were too busy to return my phone call? I was worried about you, Lewis. You didn't return any of my calls when you were in Manning. I was bonding with my birth mother. So what, you just forgot about me? No, okay? No, I didn't forget about you, all right? That's not fair. I called you, I saw the pictures, and I called you over to eat so we could, to- To, to what, Candy? Huh, to what?
Never mind, forget it. Exactly. Fine, I'll, I'll just go home. Bye. Bye. You know what, Candy? You are so stubborn. And you're never gonna change. That's why I quit. I don't want to be your manager anymore. Fine, I don't want you to be... This is the end of my first week back to work, and I just want to thank all of you for your cards, your letters, your emails, your tweets to me and my family. I really appreciate it. And I also want to extend my sincerest gratitude to the best co-anchor in the world, Mr. Jay Grant. You have worked with me for over eight years, and you have never said one negative word about me, and I really appreciate that. I love you, Jay. Well, I love you too, Candy. You know, I actually love your book, too. Oh. <laughs> no, no, real talk. George, is this it right here? <laughs> Good. Um, having my chocolate cake and eating it, too, this was an incredible read. It, I mean, it really, really was. Aww. Well done, Candy. Thank you, well darling. Done. Well, everyone, that's our show for today. Now, you will be back next week, right? Oh, yeah, you're not getting rid of me, Jay. Oh, I hope not, because I can't work by myself. I need my Ace Boone. All right, I need my ride or die chick, you know what I'm saying? I need my Michelle Obama. I need my Dwayne Wade. <laughs> I need my Beyonce, all right? Are you ready for me? Surfboard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. all right, listen. Jay, say goodbye to the nice people of America. Goodbye to the nice people of America. See you later. Take See care. you next week. That was nice. And we're clear. Great show, everybody. Great week. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Who gives this woman away to marry this man? Me. And her mother's. And her beloved uncle on behalf of her deceased father. Timeless treasures are still yet to come. This is real. Yeah.